Welcome to the SU-25T Frogfoot. The Frogfoot, also called the Gratch, is a very capable ground attack aircraft that can destroy most anything on the battlefield. Before we start blowing things up though, let's first learn how to start up this bird and taxi to the runway. The first thing I'll ask you to do is turn on the electrical power by pressing right shift and L. With the electrical power now engaged, you can see that the heads up display, or HUD, comes to life as well as many instruments and cockpit lights. Before moving the aircraft, make sure that more than three minutes have elapsed in order to let the horizontal situation indicator gyro to align properly. Now that we have power, let's turn on the navigation lights by pressing right, control, and L. Next, let's close the canopy by pressing left, control, and C. Our next step is to start our two engines. Before you do so, make sure your throttle controller has a zero power setting. Start the left engine by pressing right, alt, and home. With the left engine started, press right, control, and home to start the right engine. Off the lower left corner of the TV display is the engine gauge, with needles marked 1 and 2 for the two engines. When an engine is being started, one of the two green lights below the gauge will light. Once the light turns off, it indicates that the engine is ready for operation. In the lower left corner of the dash is an aircraft symbol that indicates the status of your flaps, landing gear, and air brake. Lower your flaps to the takeoff position by pressing left shift and F. We're now ready to taxi, so slowly increase the throttles by moving your throttle control forward or pressing page up. To reduce throttle, use your throttle controller or press page down. To use the wheel brakes, press down. Start rolling forward and turn to the left of the taxiway ahead. Press Z to steer left and press X to steer right. Nice job, you're now heading in the right direction. Keep your taxi speed around 10 kilometers per hour as indicated in the top left corner of the HUD. As you taxi, use small smooth rudder corrections to keep you aligned on the center of the taxiway. At the fork, hang a right to reach the runway. As we taxi, you can go to an external view by pressing F2 and return to the cockpit by pressing F1. You can zoom in and out using the cockpit's rotate the cockpit using the keypad directional keys.
runway to the right and align yourself down the length of it. Once aligned down the runway, increase thrust of both engines to maximum and use gentle inputs on the rudder, X and Z, to keep you tracking down the center line. When your airspeed, as indicated in the top left corner of the HUD, indicates about 250 km per hour, gently pull back on the controller and allow the aircraft to fly itself off the runway. Don't yank the controller back to force the aircraft into the air. As mentioned before, your airspeed in kilometers per hour is indicated in the top left corner of the HUD. In the top right hand corner of the HUD is your altitude in meters. Between the top speed indications is your heading tape. With positive climb established, raise the landing gear by pressing G. In the center of the HUD is the pitch and roll indication, and along the right side of the HUD is your pitch ladder and vertical velocity indication. Go ahead and raise the flaps by pressing left control and F. This concludes this lesson on starting up the SC25T, taxi, and taking the